guys. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't been on here in a while. Sorry. Uh, life happens sometimes, but I am here and I miss you guys and I'm going to do a tutorial on these beach waves kind of like lived in curls So if you want to achieve this look keep watching Here we go This is about as YouTube-y as a youtuber could get but hey, we're here. We're doing it and I'm gonna start with some dry shampoo just to add a little bit of texture to the hair. Get it in my face. Hmm. Here we. Just going back in with that dry shampoo. Get it all over. Now I'm going to section my hair off. I'm going to just start by doing one section first and then eventually it'll be parted into three sections. I'm going to brush in my hair just so that it's nice and straight, ready to go. And then I'm using my T3 curling iron. I am obsessed with this thing. So how I do these curls is I start by just flipping over the top, doing about one or two turns around the barrel and then just letting the rest go. And then I'm also going in different directions. So you'll see I flip it over the top, curl it, hold it for a second and flip again just letting it out loosely. And then when I pick up the next piece, I'm going to continue going in opposite directions, but leaving the end super straight. Gonna go in now and section off my middle section. Spraying some dry shampoo just at my roots so that it gets a little texture. Here I like to go in with my straightener and straighten my front pieces just so that they're not all over the place because that tends to happen to my hair a lot. But you can see better here how I really start towards the top of my root and hold it there for a second, but I'm leaving a lot out at the end of my hair. I'm gonna spray that when I'm done, just to hold it into place, not brushing out the curls yet. Now I'm going to move on to the top of my hair. I like to brush it out so that my hair kind of falls towards my face so that when I'm about to go in, it will frame my face. So again, going in, straightening out those front pieces and pulling them towards the front of my face. Notice a difference in how when I straighten one side versus the other, it just looks a lot better and frames my face more. I have my straightener on really low heat as well so that it doesn't break off my bangs. From here, I like to section my hair on the top so that I leave my bangs for last, but I like to do really big pieces on the top of my hair so that they don't look super curly. They just kind of flow in with the rest of my hair. And I continue going back and forth with the curls. That just gives it that natural look and not so unison. Now I'm going to pull my bangs towards the front of my face in hopes that when I do finish curling it, it will frame my face majority of the time. That's the way it works out. Again, 
on this next side just sectioning out my bangs for last, curling these top pieces towards the back, and then about one of the pieces on the top of my head will go facing forward. Notice how I flip the curling iron a little bit differently on the top of my head. That's just the way that I like to do it, but everybody could do it differently. So again, I'm not holding the curling iron on my bangs for very long. Now that we have completed curling, I'm going to go in with some hairspray. My personal favorite is Big Sexy Hair. And then I'm going to take this bristle brush and brush through my curls. Don't be afraid for them to fall out. That's the whole point of the beachy lived in look. Going in again with hairspray to add a little bit more texture. Now I'm going to go in with my IGK coconut oil gel. This stuff is awesome. I like to use this just to tame my hair a little bit and then also make it a little bit PC so that it kind of gets that beachy look to it. So yeah, this is the final look. Just some beachy lived in curls, good for every day or even going out. Make it whatever you want it to be. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I promise I'll post more. Love you guys. Bye.